Did you know over 95% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed? Make sure to do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. The Toronto Maple Leafs and the Tampa Bay Lightning will be facing off in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Toronto is kind of infamous for not getting past the first round. Will this be the year they finally break that curse? Well, let's break down their forward group. They have prolific scoring up front in Toronto. If you look at their top six, they can score with anyone in the league. Mitch Marner, Austin Matthews, John Tavares, Will Nylander, and even Rylan O'Reilly are really quality top line players. And their bottom six has some competent scoring as well, and I really did like them getting Nola Chari, adding a little bit more grit to that bottom six. If I'd have to say, their offense is definitely elite. Now let's get into their defense. They've had a pretty decent year on the back end with Jake McCabe, GJ Brody, Morgan Riley, Luke Shen, Mark Giordano and Justin Hall. Those are quality defenders. I mean, for what Giordano is giving you at the age of 39 is just ridiculous. Only making $800,000 per year. He's giving you amazing production from the back end. And while I don't think they have a bona fide number one defenseman in my eyes, they have a bunch of quality twos and threes. Let's go into the goaltending. Well, Matt Murray being hurt yet again, Ilya Sansonov will be taking the reins in net. In 42 games played, a 2.33 goals against average and a 9.19 save percentage. Sansonov has been great. He has given what Toronto has been looking for years, and that is stability in the goaltending position. The one thing that is worrisome if Sansonov does go down, Wall is their backup, and that could make some Maple Leafs fans feel a little bit insecure. But hell, in the seven games he's played, he's done a 2.16 goals against average and 9.32 save percentage. I think he would do admirable if he did, for whatever reason, need to fill the net. So so for their goaltending, I would say they're very good. So we broke down the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's go into the Tampa Bay Lightning. This first line is amazing. Stamkos, Point, and Kucherov. That is the best line in hockey. These guys are prolific scorers. Brandon Point has come into his prime and is easily worth all of that $9.5 million. But it doesn't just stop there. Hagel and Kalorn give you a good scoring on the second line. And their third and fourth line can give you okay production. So if I was going to say the top end talent of Tampa Bay, I would still consider this an elite offense just due to the amazing skill players they do have let's go into the defense you have victor hedman and sergachev as the two best defensemen on this roster sergachev and hedman had 64 and 49 points on the season respectfully and yeah i like what i see from the top end talent what worries me a bit is yes they have the top end talent but i'm not sure if the bottom pairing is good enough in the playoffs but we will have to wait and see how that pans out so for me i look at this decor as just above average and let's go into the goaltending andre vasileski has had a good year 60 games played 2.65 goals against average a 915 save percentage there has been time Times where he has looked kind of off but then there's other times where he's looked extremely phenomenal and until Vasilevsky chokes I still would consider him as one of the best goalies in the league but it does worry me a little bit he struggled in his last couple starts so how do I think this is gonna pan out looking at these rosters and their scoring and going into a little bit of the deeper analytics Tampa Bay has more goals for on the season, but Toronto's a little bit better defensively with the goals against being lower. I'm going to say this. I think it's going to go to six games, and I think the Toronto Maple Leafs are going to get past the first round. I don't think this is the Maple Leafs of old. I think they've learned from their past mistakes. There's a lot of talent on this roster, and I don't think this iteration of the Tampa Bay Lightning are as good as previous versions. But that is just my opinion. I'd be interested to know what you think down below in the comment section. Who will win this series and how many games? I'm Captain Paul. And if you haven't already, please make sure to check out our Discord down below in the description. I'll see you in the next one. Back goes to zeros. And Joe Wall is a winner here in Tampa.